I'm sorry, Lorraine. I must have missed your phone calls. I am assuming this is about the provenance of the DNA in the grand larceny case? The provenance isn't in question. It came from a victim's rape kit. Your victim was ID'd and indicted by a grand jury. What do you want me to do? Well, you can start by dropping the case. The woman is guilty of a felony. If there was improper police procedures or OCME lapses, then the NYPD can look into that and her defense attorney can bring it up at trial. The detective never should have had access to that DNA. Any subsequent arrest and indictment stemming from that evidence is tainted. Under what law? Look, I have nothing but sympathy for rape victims. <gasps> that doesn't give them a get-out-of-jail-free card. I drop this. Where does it stop? Murder? What message does that send? What message? What message does it send to rape victims if they know that their DNA will be used against them? The chilling effect on reporting is going to set us back decades. Well, then instead of traipsing all the way out to Queens and preaching to me, you should be fixing your problem with the OCME. You should know that we're not dropping this. And you should know that I'm not dropping this case. What are you going to do? Go to the press? The Queen's District Attorney's Office does not bow down to political pressure. You're not on moral high ground here. This is quicksand. <laughs>